everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something just a little bit different to what I usually do. I recently got eyelash extensions, literally just a couple days ago. So I thought it might be quite cool if I talked you through the process of, well, why I got them where, how long it took, etc. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, please do let me know in the comments below if this is something that you'd like to see more of. It's going to be definitely just a lot more of just me talking at you. So let me know what you think. Anyway, let's get started. So first off, why did I get eyelash extensions? I mean, out of everything, you'd have seen this in any makeup videos that I've done previously. The one thing that I'm really not great at is applying mascara in general, to be honest with you, just sorting out my eyelashes. I find them really short, really stubby, really, really hard to apply mascara to. My bottom lashes, I just don't even bother. I still don't now just because it will always go horrendously. <laughs> so out of anything I was ever gonna get done, whether it was gonna be like my brows, um, my lashes, whatever, it was, it, for me, it was always gonna be my eyelashes. And really what sparked it in my mind to get them is that I have a friend at work called Tessa who I think her friends recently been qualified to do them. So she was gonna get some done. And that kind of just in my mind sparked, oh, maybe I could get some done because I knew that I was gonna go um, to the salon that I went anyway, because I was gonna book in a back massage. So that's kind of why I got them, which leads on to where. So I went to a salon called Deborah Louise. If you live in Somerset, it's in Street, which is where Clark's Village is. Um, and I go there to get my hair done, like nails, anything like that. Um, as I said, I already was already planning on getting a back massage, saw that they did eyelash extensions there and it was with the same um, beautician. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna book it in. So on Wednesday, um, a couple of days ago, I went in, had a back massage, and got my eyelashes done. So I was in the salon for quite a long time, probably about I said, two and a half hours, probably overall. Um, but it was A, really nice to get a back massage, and B, really fun getting my eyelashes done. And everyone in that salon is so friendly, so I would definitely highly recommend it. It cost me, for a full set, £45. That's how much it cost at that salon, which I think is probably very similar to the price that it is. Um, everywhere else as well, at least local to me, all of the salons were around that price. <coughs> just excuse me while I die. <sighs> okay, I need to just stop dying for a second. So now I'm going to talk about how I got them done, like the process going through. Obviously, technically I can't say anything because I have no idea how they actually really attach them to your lashes, but I'll talk about what I experienced. So first of all, it didn't take, mine I don't think took too long. Um, the beautician said that potentially it could take about two hours, but I think with me it only took an hour and a half, like maximum, maybe not even that, to get the full set done. I was really fortunate, I think, as well, because I didn't react at all to the tape. So obviously to start with, they have to tape your bottom lashes down to make sure they don't stick your lashes together. Um, and I didn't react at all to that. I don't know if it was because sometimes if I ever do a winged eyeliner, I'll always put tape so I get a straight line. I don't know if maybe that's because I was used to then having tape in my eyes that I didn't react, maybe that was it. But for me, that part didn't really feel uncomfortable at all. And I didn't react at all to the glue either. So obviously the glue that they use to stick the lashes to your natural lashes. Um, I've heard that actually some people have, their eyes have watered throughout the whole process. But with me, I was extremely lucky. They didn't affect me at all when I was having it done. And then actually afterwards, obviously when you open your eyes, um, like mine watered the tiniest bit, my right eye like watered literally the tiniest bit. But besides that, I was so lucky. They didn't sting at all. They didn't go red at all. Like it was, it was, it was literally ridiculous. Um, because I have seen videos of other people getting them done and afterwards their eyes are like watering like crazy. But um, no, I was so fortunate, I literally just sat up, was expecting, obviously, because I was warned anyway, um, that they were probably gonna water. So I was expecting them to do so, absolutely nothing. So um, I think I was very I was very lucky on that, and I was very fortunate. So finally, how do I feel after I had them done? So first of all, I am so happy with them. So when I first got them, like when I first got home, I thought, God, it's gonna be really hard to wear these without makeup because they are really full. But actually now, a couple of days on, I think it's just a case of you just get used to them. Um, because my eyelashes were so short and so sparse before, and I quite often just didn't wear any um, 
mascara on them. If I didn't wear makeup, I never would even put mascara on. To then go from that to obviously like a full set of long black lashes was a shock. <sighs> that was really rude. I apologise. Yeah, so initially that was a shock, but now I don't think it's a problem at all. I've just gotten used to them. The only thing I'd say, the only comment I'd make is if you haven't ever worn fake eyelashes like the strip, definitely wear those first to get rid of the f to get rid of no 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 to get used to the sensation of wearing them because even i found that actually the first night that i got them on the wednesday night my lashes um sorry my eyelids were really heavy and almost ached and kind of a bit again the next morning um despite the fact that i was actually used to wearing false lashes so i know what that feels like it still felt a bit strange to me um, now, I literally wouldn't even know that they're on, I don't notice them. I just will occasionally walk past them and think, oh yeah, I've still got eyelashes, ha, huh, that's funny, ha, huh, that's funny, ha, huh, that's funny. But besides that, I would have no idea that they're on. It makes getting ready so easy because I wouldn't normally apply um, eyeliner anyway. So I literally, for my eyes, can put some shadow on like I've done today. Um, and then face makeup, but other than that, I have nothing else to do, which is incredible. Taking off at the end of the day, there's no mascara to take off. Oh my god, it's just the best thing ever. <laughs> now the only thing I can't comment on is how long they stay on for. I was advised they'll probably stay on for about five weeks. If they do, I think that's ridiculous. I feel like that's a really long amount of time. Um, really long amount of time? Does that make sense? Probably not safe, but we're just going to run with it anyway. Wow, okay. Yeah, so supposedly they're going to stay on for five weeks. None of them have fallen out at the moment. Um, I think they'll just fall out with your natural lashes as that happens. Um, and obviously you can go back and get infills, etc. When I first got them, my initial thought was I'm just gonna try it and I probably won't get them again after this. Now I'm thinking if I can afford to, I almost 100% definitely will, as it's already making my life so much easier and I already like them so much. So it obviously does depend a little bit upon um, how long they stay on for because of the cost as well. Like, as I said earlier, it was about £45, which is a lot of, that's not throwaway money, is it? So it obviously does depend upon how long they stay on for, how I get on with them. But I think the likelihood is I will get them again for sure, um, as I'm a big fan, as you can probably tell. Right, that is it. That is the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, do let me know what you think, please, about the style of the video, whether you enjoy it. Um, I hope this has maybe helped you decide whether to get them or given you an insight, something like that. And maybe, maybe you can go out and get some. If you do get last extensions, tweet me at Safe Negus, please, so I can see what they look like. That would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. That would be amazing. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.